These pedals attach to a swiveling bracket, which was mounted to the floor. And when the floor rusts out on these trucks, which they often do, the bracket rusts away as well. And you're stuck with this. And unfortunately, this part has long been discontinued by Toyota. Fortunately, the Toyota Hino uses a very similar style gas pedal. I'll put a link to one of these in the description. So side by side, you can see they're pretty similar. This one's actually metal with a rubber coating on it. This one is all plastic. Uh, it does have a loop at the top here, which sort of snaps into place, which will make it easy to remove if you have to. And here at the bottom is the pivoting hinge, which is actually metal. So I'm gonna be bolting this to my floor. So let's do a quick test fit here. So the bottom of the pedal just sits under the floor liner like this. And yeah, that seems like it's gonna work perfect. I pulled the liner for more room to work. So I just need to figure out exactly where to mount this on my new floor. I'll put a link to the floor repair video in the description. That was a long project, but it's nice not to see my tire and the ground when I look down at the pedals. All right, this is the spot. I'm tracing this opening in the liner to use as a reference. Now peel it back and there it is. I never realized how filthy this liner is. This seems right about where I wanna put the pedal. If this liner wasn't ripped, it might actually cover up the base. Yeah, that looks good. I traced the uh, mounting holes with the marker. Now let's get this out of the way again and drill some holes. I found some hardware in my Toyota bucket. It's actually kind of hard to see the marker on this dark floor. I have some grease here and I'm putting some grease around the hole I just drilled to help protect it from rust because I am in Ohio. One bolt and two bolts. Now we get to go under. Oh, these are too short. That's better. I've got a little bit of a uh, shrapnel on this hole. And grease up the bottom as well. And some grease on the nut. This way there's no way water will creep in. Tuck this little plastic tab under the floor. I wonder if they make replacement vinyl flooring for these trucks. The last thing is to snap this buckle on the top. All right, and done. Hmm, that's not good. The pedal sticks. That's not gonna work. You son of a b There's a little rust on there, so maybe it's not sliding like it should. I'll throw a little grease on there. See if that helps. Dang. Well, maybe the Hino pedal doesn't work in this truck after all. So I think what's happening is the rod is binding at the bottom of the clip because it didn't stick until I clipped in that buckle. So let's pop that guy back open. That was it. Phew. So the gas pedal does work. Just don't clip in that buckle. While I'm in here, these uh, rubber pedal covers, they just deteriorate over time and fall off. So I found this one by Dorman. It was about one third the price of the OEM one. It looks identical. Let's see how it fits.
pretty good. Next time I'll show how to tighten up the steering to get rid of all this excessive play in the steering wheel. Thanks for watching.